Melbourne is one of the world's most artistic and diverse cities. It is recognised throughout the world as a city of culture through its writers, musicians and perhaps most importantly, its artists. As time goes by, however, it appears that the Victorian government, in its attempt to stifle liberties, is determined to continue to undermine the freedom of its citizens. An example of this could be the extreme abortion laws, now only changed in a weak attempt to catch up to the rest of our great country, or the controversial banning of Bill Henderson artwork that we currently face. However, the latest step the Victorian government has taken towards its seemingly desired goal of a police state is the implementation of the Graffiti Prevention Act earlier this year. First question, under this new legislation, police have the expanded special search powers to search anyone 14 or over who is near or on public transport for spray paint cans. This action seems to further exacerbate our human rights as it breaches the Victorian Charter of Human Rights and Responsibilities of 2007. So what is someone supposed to do if they have a legitimate need for spray paint? One of the things that uh, this new law allows is for police who believe that someone is actually in the act of uh, graffiti vandalism or uh, on their way to undertake graffiti vandalism can be searched and can be charged. If you have a legitimate reason to be carrying uh, whether it be uh, marker pens or spray cans or so forth, uh, then there, there is nothing to actually worry about. Uh, and this is, this is where I think a lot of people actually misjudge what the new legislation uh, does. This is Paul Anthony Mariani, youth worker at MacKillop Family Services and student welfare worker with the Victorian Department of Education. What is someone supposed to do if they have a legitimate need for spray paint? That's a fantastic question. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to give you an answer to this question. Now, I say this law directly affects young people because young people are disproportionately represented in the um, police statistics on who gets caught for graffiti related incidences. Now, let's think of the average young person who catches a train to school each day. When they get to their train station, Think of a train station that doesn't have any graffiti around it. Can you imagine one place? I don't think so. And so what we have here is a situation now where police can stop and search and seize any graffiti related implement that a young person might have. But it's not just about stopping and searching them that breaches their human rights. There is a whole plethora of things that affect young people's rights on a daily basis with this law. It seems the whole um, concept of this new law is guilty until proven innocent, which is a contradiction of human rights. You, you see where I'm going with this? Yep. Um, I guess I guess the um, uh, the premise of people thinking that um, because the police are actually going to search someone based on looks um, uh, you, you could actually say that that's a, a, a bit uh, profiling um, and I guess in today's society that takes place all the time. Um, Basically one needs to be a tradesperson or a licensed artist to avoid the legal repercussions of this act. It seems to fail to take into account people that paint models, artists that are just beginning, or anyone else that may legitimately need spray paint. The new legislation that the Victorian government brought in this year concerning the ban of spray cans near public transport has been considered excessive by some. What's your opinion on this new law? Um, I do agree that it's definitely um, absurdly excessive. Um, I mean, there's facing jail terms, you know, like minor graffiti charges, Seems fairly insane, especially up to two years in prison, which you know, lots of assault cases go for much less than that. Um, I think the the idea that the police can just search you, like um, based on the concept that you might have a spray can in your in your bag or whatever, and there's no real even evidence that you're going to be using it for anything but taking it home and painting your bike or you know doing some art at home is just insane. Many people in the arts community are reverently against this stifling of liberties. There's been many organised protests already staged against the New Graffiti Act. We are informed that these protests will continue to be staged until the Victorian government realises the fundamental human rights of its citizens and the basic artistic right of freedom of expression.